Hey, what's up guys? Are you struggling from shoulder pain? Maybe you're getting a little kinks up here in the neck? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you three different exercises to relieve your shoulder pain and help it get back to moving the right way using these little lacrosse balls. All right guys, my name is Coach Chris and I'm a movement and mobility specialist. And these exercises are the same ones that we use in our gym with our clients after maybe a big bench day or maybe they've been doing chin-ups and maybe they've been doing pull-ups and they feel just a little tweak. A lot of times those muscles get tight. So this is gonna be a little soft tissue release to make sure that we get those muscles moving right. All right, guys, exercise one, we're gonna take these two lacrosse balls, right? And the idea is that we wanna run these all the way up our back. So we're gonna start mid-back and we're gonna work our way up to the top of our back. So I put the balls down and I just line them up. Now, if you have the two tennis balls or the Rolga foam roller, this also works, where you kind of tape them together. All right, so boom, right there, I got them right here underneath my back. And then now, what I wanna do is I wanna breathe into it so even just the breathing I'm starting to release and now I can add some movement into that so by taking my arms up I'm actually working my arms and my shoulders through those ranges of motion and this is typically how we're going to be moving so we come a couple reps here and then we just adjust those balls. We slide them up so that they're higher up on our back. And then we do the same thing. All right, depending on where you're tight is gonna depend on how sore you get in certain spots. Some of you might experience more tightness in the lower part. Some might experience it more in the upper part towards your traps. All right, guys, now exercise number two, we're gonna use the lacrosse ball to get a little more fine detail. So we're gonna actually go into what we call trigger point therapy. So we're gonna find a spot where we have a little bit of soreness in that shoulder. Maybe it's our trap, maybe it's our scap, and we're just gonna sit that ball in there. We wanna think about breaking up this tissue, right? Pushing into it. Now I'm gonna add some movement into my arm, right? Taking my arm different ways through the ranges of motion. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes you're gonna feel that certain spots as you move your arm through, it creates a little bit of a pain, but what you wanna do, is, in, a, in a weird way, you actually do wanna search a little bit for some pain. You wanna search for those knots, those adhesions, and you wanna work them until they're broken up because these knots are actually preventing you from getting into an overhead position on your lifts. It's preventing you from being able to press appropriately. It's preventing you from being able to do your pulling exercises or even just holding onto a barbell in a front rack position. So you wanna make sure that you're working this area back here all the way up by the neck, all the way up underneath, and you can work underneath of here too. All right guys, so in exercise three, now I'm gonna release the chest, right? So we worked on our back, we worked on upper targeting areas. Right now, we're gonna go to the front because a lot of times when we're dealing with back tightness, it's because we have a lot of front tightness. Because our shoulders are rounded over, this tissue gets really tight. So what we wanna do is we wanna get the ball in here and we wanna work and open that up, but we also wanna kinda work our deltoid as well. So I'm gonna use a, you can use a wall, you can like taking a bench and putting up on an incline works really, really well too, because it gives me a little bit of motion here. So as I go ahead and I stick this ball in here, let me get close on this one at least. So as I get this ball right up in here, I'm thinking about right here on that pec minor, right? And now I'm just gonna kinda work my arm back and forth, trying to floss through that joint. And what this does is it's gonna give you some relief in your shoulder and you might feel a little clicking running around in there, but what this is gonna do, it's gonna help you reset that shoulder joint, right? So if our muscles are too tight, what ends up happening is it pulls our shoulder and what we think about is like it's a shoulder uh, a ball and socket joint. So it kind of pulls it off of that T a little bit. And so if you're tight this way, maybe it's sitting that way. If you're tight this way, it's sitting that way. So what we're doing with these drills is we're loosening up the fascia tissue and the muscle so that, that that sits right there nice and tight inside of that ball socket joint. And that allows you to get into those exercises without any pain.